There are five steps to take to help create progress toward finding symptom reduction and or relief. Taking these five steps might not be overnight magic, but they can significantly help reduce symptoms of anxiety, trauma triggers, and other unwanted emotions or thoughts. With any type of trigger, emotion, or thought that needs coping skills, it is important to always remember to breathe. Like in yoga, slow, deep, long breathing can help maintain a sense of calm or help return to a calmer state. Start with deep breathing as the introduction to any coping skill. Breathe in for five seconds. Hold the breath for five seconds. And breathe out for five seconds. Continue this pattern until you find your thoughts slowing down or until necessary. I suggest at least five rounds of these sets, but more is of course allowed and encouraged. After you are able to find your breath, go through the numbers in order to help ground yourself in the present, thinking through external factors. First, I want you to acknowledge five things that you see around you. Maybe it's a bird. Maybe it is a pencil. Maybe it is a spot on the ceiling. However big or small, state those five things that you see. Now, I want you to acknowledge four things you can touch around you. Maybe this is your hair, hands, the ground or grass, maybe a pillow. Whatever it may be, list out those four things that you can feel. Next, acknowledge three things that you hear. This needs to be external. Do not focus on your thoughts. Maybe you can hear a clock, a car, or a dog park. Maybe you hear your tummy rumbling. Internal noises that make external sounds can count. Whatever is audible in the moment is what you should list. Now I want you to acknowledge two things that you can smell. This one might be hard if you are not in a stimulating environment. If you cannot automatically sniff something out, Walk nearby to find a scent. Maybe you walk to your bathroom to smell soap or outside to smell anything in nature. It could even be as simple as leaning over and smelling a pillow on the couch. Whatever it may be, take in the smells around you. Finally, I want you to acknowledge one thing that you can taste. What does the inside of your mouth taste like? Is it gum? Coffee? Maybe your sandwich from lunch? Focus on your mouth as the last step and take in what you can taste.
These five steps are a way to ground yourself in the now, take you out of your head, and help stop your flooded thoughts. Your thoughts are directly linked to how you feel, and although you feel like we lose control of our thought processes, we have tools that can help us gain back a sense of control and lead to healthier thought patterns. In moments of anxiety or triggered trauma, it is important to stay present, focused, to help find symptom relief. Hopefully, this coping technique can help you or someone you know stay present, stay grounded, and stay healthy.